Jones or Legend? Which one do you think is better for the Legacy? For the Legacy, the, the, to win against Jones would be better. But at the end of the day, even if I do win the fight, I'm still down 2-1. It, it doesn't really change much he won the series. So I'd have to stick around and try to beat him again. If I beat Legend, then I'm up 1-0. But for Legacy, yes, beating Jones. Because he's the only guy that's beat me uh, in my career. That, that's the one that leaves more Legacy. Are you so far removed from Jones based on everything that you just said that you're confident that even when you see him, like it won't change in your mind? Like like, like all of a sudden your emotions won't change when you actually see the guy? No, I mean, I just don't think that, um, I, I, again, like I've had to change the mental process in regards to him. I have to, I, I had to truly let go of it completely because when I feel that next time, I was like, I know I'm done by four, right? If everything's what it is, if you saw is who USADA says they are. I'm never going to get to fight this kid again, right? I had to truly remove myself from anything in regards to him because I would say, yeah, I would like to fight him again. But the reality of it was, if USADA is who USADA is, you feel the first time and you get a year, you feel the second time, two years seems like it's going to be realistic, right? At two years, there was never going to be a win. So I had to change the way I thought in regards to him. And uh, that's what's allowed me to kind of move past him. When I see him, uh, will I not want to say something to him? Well, probably so. I'll probably still want to cuss him and say something to him. But it doesn't really change anything. I mean, we'll never be friends. We'll never be cordial. Uh, me saying he's a good fighter and stuff is probably going to be the, uh, to the extent of which we um, say pleasant things about each other. I mean, even, you know, he did an interview uh, that said he was happy for me. I, I don't believe that. I mean, it's fine though. He does not have to be happy for me. My accomplishment is my accomplishment. And on December 29th, if he is to win the belt, I am not going to be happy for him. But his accomplishment does not, it does not mean less or more based on my reaction. It's his. It's not Daniel and John or John and Daniel. It's John Jones and it's Daniel Cormier. We are two different people. So our reactions to each other's successes don't really truly matter all that much. How much you taking in the fight on short notice? How much did the guard play? Getting the headline at Madison Played a big part. I mean, honestly, it played a big part. The idea that I could come back here. I was here in 2003 for the World Wrestling Championships, and I thought, this is truly an amazing uh, arena. It's a massive opportunity. Uh, just, I can feel the energy of the city and how great New York truly is. The fans are so passionate. I said, you know, man, this is something I can't pass up. And the reality is, I got called about seven weeks ago about a fight. And I was just starting to, uh, so October, around October, right? They told me my hand would be healed in six to eight weeks. Right at the beginning of, uh, in the September, I started rehab. So they're grinding on my hand and they're squeezing and they're twisting and I'm like, ah, it still hurts so bad. Um, so when they said, can you fight? I'm leaving the rehab facility and they're squeezing my damn hand and uh, it's throbbing. I'm like, I can't fight. My hand's still messed up. My hand's still broken. Then after three weeks of rehab and uh, Derek being as aggressive as he was, they said, can you fight? I said, well, let me see if I can punch, right? I'm not fresh off the rehab table right now. My hand's not throbbing. Let me see if I can punch. I went to punch and I hit, I hit a couple guys and I, I felt pretty good. I said, okay, I can do this. 